Something big is brewing at Tesla. Check this out. This is based on hardcore data, not just personal experience. And after going through this, I was actually left a bit speechless. He no longer has repeatable disengagements on Tesla cell driving V12.3. All 600 of his persistent disengagement spots are fixed. So he tracked all of this data carefully. And this is the percentage of disengagements at the same location. And this is V11. You can see that it wasn't exactly very good. Now it's, um, I, I thought that maybe he didn't put any data in here, but no, he drove 500 miles on V12.3. I think this has to be the most bullish thing I have seen about of his DV12.3, because this is not just one no interventions drive. No, this is hardcore data. All of his persistent disengagements have been resolved. This is not a typo, all of them. And James says, yes, this supports the thesis that Tesla can and will eventually solve FSD by uncovering training on the edge cases. Now that compute is no longer a constraint. This is very bullish for FSD. Everything has changed since V12.3. This is James. He has been so widely skeptical about FSD. Just a few weeks ago, he said basically, yeah, FSD is... It's, it's, it's all, it's all dreams. This is a bit crazy. I'm actually personally, yeah, I'm, I'm a bit speechless. It's one thing to see one, one hour drive, no disengagements. We haven't seen that before, but it's another thing to show, look, I had hundreds of persistent disengagements and now I have zero hardcore data. Now, my question is, how do you put that data into a spreadsheet to predict Tesla stock price. I think most analysts are not able to do that, not yet. They need to wait for earnings to show up, but by the time the earnings show up, the stock has already risen, it's too late. And here's more bullishness from James, hearing very positive as DV 12.3.2 reviews from people that live in Montreal, in Canada, in Quebec. If it works well in this crazy city with our terrible roads, aggressive drivers, and confusing bilingual signs, French and English, it can work anywhere. Uh, is it really that difficult to drive there? Someone says I go to Montreal four to five times a year, quite possibly the worst driving environment in North America. Wow. Anyone who has been in Montreal, is that true? I would imagine New York City would be a bit harder, but I haven't been to Montreal. Tesla stock is going to $240 per share, basically says James, and he has some credibility. If you remember in 2022, he sold Tesla stock when it was around $200, not exactly at that point, but roughly there. And then he bought it back in after it dropped to $100 per share. So he does have some credibility. He says, here is a short-term bull case for Tesla stock. Everyone and their mom knows Q1 will be a tough delivery print. The stock has been moving higher despite this ever since FSD V12.3 landed. We also had good news about the 4680 ramp, Cybertruck ramp, and Tesla has started advertising more broadly. These things were criteria I cited in a previous post that I said would be required to change the business trajectory in 2024. They have all progressed since that post. Things are heading in the right direction. The market may be looking well past Q1 and even Q2 at this point. I think that if we don't sell off on the delivery numbers, or if we do and the dip is promptly consumed, it probably means the stock will at least retest the big downward channel resistance in the near future around $240 per share. Is Tesla stock really going back to $240 per share really soon? Well, if you look at the stock astrology chart, it would suggest Yes, I haven't made any of my life decisions based on astrology though, and I'm not going to start now. If I zoom in, it's certainly not perfect, but there's possibly something to it. Anyway, I only invest based on the long-term assumptions. Fisker just slashed vehicle prices in the US by 39%, so that company is definitely done now. It's a fire sale. In response to that, Tesla has suspended acceptance of all Fisker Ocean trade-ins. Surprisingly, Fisker stock is up today so far, but the market cap is basically zero now. <laughs>